Okay, so here's the scenario. If you're using YouTube or Microsoft Stream or some other kind of software, you may be getting automatic transcription files from your videos or audio recordings. And as you can see with this example here, they're not a very nice format to put in front of the business. They normally this kind of text, we've got confidence levels, GUIDs, timestamps, and the actual text all mixed into a single column. So I'm going to clean this up and my tool of choice is going to be Excel. So first off, I'm going to bring the data in from the file. So we're just going to do this. The transcript is here, but actually it wasn't text. It's a VTT file in this case. So I just had to change that, but I bring it in. Now this is great, you know, okay, so it's talking about delimiting by a colon. Uh, actually, that's not going to give me the results I need. We're going to get this in as a single column first off, so I'm going to bring it in delimited. I'm going to just put in note because I saw some of the lines said note, but this isn't particularly important. By the way, if you have any accents in your characters, for example, if it's uh, Spanish, French, this sort of thing, uh, then do bring it in as UTF-8. Uh, so that that doesn't get messed up. Okay, great. So I'm bringing my file in now. Okay, so that's great. I've got a bunch of rows. I've got my text. I've got my GUIDs, this sort of thing. But uh, there's a lot of junk that it brought through. So I'm just going to select the table. One of my favorite things in the data tab is remove duplicates. So I remove duplicates. Look at that. 48 duplicates removed and those were the uh, those were the extra lines. Okay, that's great. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I had brought it in from text CSV. As you can see, I've got a table here now. I'm going to do data again and I'm going to do from table. So what I'm going to do here is I've got my single column and I'm going to break this out into different bits. And the way I do this is saying add column, conditional column, This is going to be my timestamp. It's going to be from that first column. And the timestamps always have, so contains, dash, dash, greater than, like a little arrow. So I know that those are the timestamp values. From column, then we're going to put the value from column one. Okay, that one. So you see, I've got my timestamps now. And we're going to do the same thing again because I want my text. And so we'll put here transcript text, fair enough. And then again, it's if column one does not contain, because I noticed that the text never contains the dash character, whereas timestamps and GUIDs do. So there we go, and we'll bring the value over from column one in that case. So that's my transcript text column. So I've got my timestamps and I've got my text. So this is a good start. Go back, close and load. Okay, now that I've got this, the first thing is I don't want the GUIDs and all the old junk from the first one. So I'm just going to select the column, right click, delete. So now I've got much more of what I wanted. But there's perhaps one thing missing here because I still have a bunch of text split across two lines. Also, I do have a bunch of blank lines. So you know what I'm going to do first? I'm just going to select my table, go to data again, and I'm going to do another of those remove duplicates. And that's removed 12 blank lines. So this is all good. I like it. Okay, so...
going to do an insert of a column uh, to the left. Why not? And um, I guess we should call this something sensible like my text. Actually, it's less of a good name than column C, but never mind. And then what I've done is I've put a little formula together. And this formula is going to check whether the line has a line before or a line after. It's just an AND statement checking if the line above and the line present is blank. Uh, and if it isn't, then it's doing a concatenation and putting the result here. Basically, this where it's split into two lines, I want to put it back over here. And if it's not split into two lines like this one, then I just want it to be sensibly there. Uh, and this is just a way to make the text more readable for people. So you'll see now, it's still respecting my timestamps, but my little formula is now bringing the text together, and, and it's got a space between the words as well, by the way, uh, here. So it's just much more readable for people. And now I can actually ignore column C. If I was to get these, I can now cut and paste this into a more legible document for the business, and they have their transcript. Job done. If you found today's video useful, please do subscribe. And if you think I can help you with the project, reach out.